vSphere 7 introduced an entirely new solution for unified software and firmware management that's native to vSphere. It's called VLCM, or vSphere Lifecycle Manager. And now that update one is available, I wanted to show you how simple it is to completely upgrade the hypervisor, driver, and firmware using VLCM. In this environment, I have three HP DL360s. And looking at my desired state image, I can see that they all have ESXi version 7.0 and the accompanying vendor add-on, the HPE customization for HPE servers. I can also see that I currently don't have any firmware attached to this desired image. We're gonna change that. I can see here that all of the servers in this cluster are currently compliant with my desired image, but I wanna go ahead and update this to vSphere 7 update one. Now, as it pertains to ESXi and the vendor add-ons, I don't need to go anywhere. All of that is already inside of vSphere. And I'll show you how we can add that to the image. But in order to add the firmware portion to my desired state image, I need to go over to HPE's ILO amplifier. Under firmware baseline, you have the ability to import a new baseline. Baselines can be imported by NFS, HTTP or HTTPS, or even a regular file upload. As you can see here, I've already imported the baseline for 7.0 update one. So I'm gonna jump back to vCenter. There are a couple of different ways you can take advantage of VLCM. Let's start with a new cluster creation. When you create a new cluster, you'll notice on the bottom it says manage all hosts in the cluster with a single image. That's VLCM. I can choose the version of ESXi and the vendor add-on that I wanna use for my desired image. I'll go ahead and make this update one and I'll choose the appropriate vendor add-on. So now I've got the hypervisor and I've got the drivers, but there's no place for firmware here. I'll show you how to add that next. So now that the new cluster is created, I'm gonna to go to the Updates tab. And I see I've got my image with vSphere 7 Update 1, as well as the vSphere 7 Update 1 vendor add-on. All I need to do now is add that firmware and drivers add-on. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Edit, and select that HPE firmware bundle. And then from this point, if I had any hosts in this cluster, I could go ahead and remediate that. But all my hosts are sitting in this HPE vSAN cluster. So let's go ahead and update that one. As I mentioned earlier, it's currently using vSphere 7.0 and the appropriate HPE vendor add-on, but it still needs the firmware bundle. And as you can see, I'm currently compliant with this image. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit this image and change the ESXi version to vSphere 7 update one. I'm also gonna change the vendor add-on and choose the most recent vendor add-on for HPE. This has all the drivers that I need for my HPE servers. Lastly, I'm gonna go ahead and select that firmware bundle. This is the firmware bundle that HPE provides for all of my servers. Then I'll go ahead and click Save. Now that I have some changes, VLCM is gonna check the compliance of my host. And as you can see, all three of my hosts are no longer compliant. As you can see, the ESXi version on my host is currently vSphere 7, but the image version is vSphere 7.0 update one. Same thing with my vendor add-on. And you can also see here that I have no firmware add-on currently, but the desired image has ESXi 7 update one upgrade pack. And below that, I can see the specifics of that firmware bundle. There's a side-by-side -side comparison of the firmware versions that are on the host and the firmware versions that are on the image. At this point, I have a few options. I can go ahead and remediate one server if I choose, but VLCM is a non-disruptive upgrade process. So I'm gonna go ahead and remediate all. Prior to the remediation, vSAN does a hardware compatibility check against the vSAN compatibility guide. It looks like my hardware is compatible. At this point, VLCM begins the non-disruptive upgrade process, starting with one host in my cluster. It'll migrate the workload to another host in the cluster, put the host in maintenance mode, upgrade the hypervisor to vSphere 7 update one, upgrade the vendor add-on, which contains all of the drivers for that server, then restart and apply all the firmware upgrades. Taking a peek into the remote access of the server, I can see it's currently flashing the firmware. 
Once the firmware upgrade is complete, the host will restart, do another compliance check, take the host out of maintenance mode, return the workload, and then move on to the next host, all in a non-disruptive rolling upgrade fashion. Once VLCM completes the remediation on all my hosts, it does a final compliance check, and as I can see here, all of the hosts in my cluster are compliant. So as you can see, using VLCM for lifecycle management is pretty straightforward. Simply by modifying my desired state image, I was able to non-disruptively upgrade my hypervisor, driver, and firmware. For more information on VLCM and other vSAN features, be sure to go to core.vmware.com.